Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today I'm going to be talking about the release of the Off-White Nike Waffle Racer Pack. Yes guys, so I've been I've been looking for about the past week um, on three different platforms. I've been going to Sneaker Files, I've been going to Sneaker Bar Detroit, I've been going to Hypebeast, and they've all been giving me mixed details on the release of a women's only Off-White Nike Waffle Racer Pack. Now this is the second female only pack that Off-White has done with Nike, but according to these three sources, they're all saying that tomorrow, September 5th, is the release date of this women's only pack. Now it is, it is super iffy on if that is going to be the release date, but apparently according to these three sources, it's going to release on Nike.com and various other select retailers. Now, before diving into any of the shoes in this pack, I thought I would just let you guys know about all those details. I'm trying to get some more solid details, but on GOAT, it says September 5th. On Sneaker Files, it says September 5th. On Hypebeast, September 5th. On Sneaker Bar Detroit, September 5th. It all says September 5th, but it's all... I still feel like that's super unreliable, but definitely if you're interested in any of these shoes in this pack, Get ready for September 5th, just in case. So get ready for tomorrow. Nike.com, select retailers that have been known to sell off-white shoes or off-white Nike shoes before. Check them out because apparently it is dropping tomorrow. But now that I've specified all the details to do with that, let's jump in. Let's have a look. What waffle races are being released? What do they look like? Let's have a look, guys. So... In this pack that is releasing on September 5th for a retail price of 150 US dollars per shoe, you are getting three waffle racers redesigned by Virgil Abloh, famous designer of Off-White and now famous designer in Louis Vuitton as well. Uh, you will get this uh, pack, as I said, dropping on September 5th. It is obviously a reimagination of the waffle racer by Virgil and he's done it in three different colors. There's white black with pink and then there's blue with green so i almost forgot the third one there but they're releasing those three colorways tomorrow personally i like the story behind the waffle racer according to i think it was sneaker files i think i was looking at they were talking about how the waffle um outsole how you know how it's got those little dimply bits down the bottom originally were designed because somebody when designing the waffle racer i can't remember who exactly designed it sorry i'm just i'm so scattered at the moment but apparently allegedly the outsole was designed because someone grabbed a piece of the outsole originally and then slapped it in a waffle iron and then heated it and that's why it's got the little square dimples on the bottom of waffle runners so whenever you buy a pair of waffle anything waffle in this case uh racers waffle even the sakai collab has them as well any of those little dimples allegedly started out because someone decided to grab the sole and put it in a waffle iron instead of a waffle they must have been so hungry they wanted to start eating shoes uh and design the the, the sole that way which i thought is a really cool cool idea and what Virgil's done in this collaboration, of course, is he's supplied his own little reimagining of it. And they're honestly, they're pretty cool. I don't see myself buying racetrack shoes anytime soon. Um, you can tell because of the sole itself that these shoes are ideally track shoes. You're meant to run them in like sprints and stuff on track. But that doesn't and won't stop anyone that's buying them to wear them for casual wear. The only thing I would say is, is that if you're going to wear them on concrete... Get ready for those little dimply bits to just get shredded off, man, because they're not going to stick around for too long. But if you like the shoe regardless and you're going to wear it, go for your life. Honestly, do what you want to do with the shoes. They're your shoes. But all three colorways are pretty neat. I would say that my favorite is probably the really toned down just white and cream pair. It just, it, I think it just looks a lot nicer. The blue and green, I wouldn't wear it. It's a weird color combination for me. The black and pink is quite nice, but I think the hot pink outsole is just a little bit too much for me. I don't think I would wear it. Now, as I specified, this is a women's exclusive, so it's only going to be dropped in women's sizing. So, if you're a dude and you're like, you know what? I like these shoes. I don't care that anyone's going to judge me if they know that they're women's shoes. Good on you. But also, you want a pair. What the heck are you going to do? What you do? You grab your normal size of shoes check the tag see how many centimeters 
that is. It'll say size 10, however many centimeters the size 10 is. What you do, if you want to pick up this pair tomorrow, you go to knife.com today, you look at the sizing, and you find out what a men's whatever size you are is in centimeters, and then you find the exact comparison in centimeters in the women's size. So then tomorrow, when they drop, if they do drop, you instantly buy that size because you know what size they are. You've done the research beforehand. And I would love to provide you with the exact size that you are, but hey, there's a lot of viewers out there, guys. I don't know what, what your size is going to be. You're going to have to do that research for yourself. I know that for my case, <laughs> not that they're going to release it my size. They'd be a uh, women's 19. Um, I don't think that exists. I don't think it'll ever exist. Or maybe it will like 300 years from now, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to exist, so of course I'm going to be missing out on this pack. Um, I wouldn't pick them up even if they did technically have a size 19 women's, but I just think it's a cool pack. I think I, I it deserves its own video. I think I had to mention it, had to talk about it. It's just it's it's nice to see that Virgil's doing some um, packs exclusively for women because. It's only been recently that Nike has actually come around and started doing exclusive women packs. They've been ex doing exclusive Jordans for ages, um, but they've only now been recently been doing it more frequently. And now Virgil is doing, you know, exclusive women's off-white packs, which are really, really cool as well. And honestly, man, who cares if they're women's? If you like them, just buy them and rock them. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Just wear them anyway, man. If they look sick, they look sick. I don't care what Mr. I'm not going to wear them at all thinks. Wear them, guys. Seriously. If you're picking up a pair, let me know in that comment section below that. I want to know if you're planning on picking any of these bad boys up. I'm just hoping they get released because the details on them have been super sketchy. They've been rumored to... I mean, they were originally rumored to come out in May. And then they've just been either pushed back, pushed back, and even further pushed back now to bloody September. But... <sighs> Who knows, man? I mean, that's why I'm super skeptical about the September 5th release. But I thought I'd do the video before September 5th, inform the masses <laughs> in a way, but and let's hope they release. Are you going to pick up a pair, guys? Which is your favorite pair out of the three? I mean, you've got a choice between the black and pink, the blue and green, or the white and cream. My favorite is the white and cream. Um, it's interesting to see that Virgil is putting green tags on them. I don't know if he does that with just the women's off-white shoes, because if you've seen men's off-white shoes before, they have the red tag on them. I don't know if women are getting the green tag. Don't know, maybe it's just this specific pack that's getting a green tag. But yeah, guys, let me know everything in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And that's all we've really got to say about them, guys. As I said, the details have been super scarce, but... I've, I've given you everything that I've got after doing a little bit of research myself. You know, that's all I can really find. I hope that helps if anyone's actually interested in picking up a pair. But, yeah, that's it, guys. That's the Nike Off-White uh, Waffle Racer Pack. I, I love it. I think it's really nice. I, my favorite is definitely, as I've said multiple times, the White and Creams. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking it out. Love hearing your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow all of the socials in the description below as well. The Facebook page is the best thing to keep you up to date with everything that I'm posting. And you know what, guys? I'm really happy that you guys are watching this video today. And I'd just like to say thank you. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.